welcome back, welcome back to Zoo Tycoon 2 and our jungle zone where we are currently watching some adorable baby pandas waddle very, very slowly through some very beautiful lilies. I think it is headed for, oh, look at this. More pandas, more adorable pandas riding around on their mom's backs. That is the way to get around if you ask me. That looks very, very comfortable. And this little one I think is headed over to mom over here so that it can go ahead and nurse because it is indeed a mammal and they do indeed drink milk from their parents most of the time. Also platypi. I'm pretty sure platypi count as mammals even though they lay eggs. Can you make it little guy? Come on, it's just a little slope. But you know, baby things can get freaked out by little tiny slopes like this. Oh boy, now I'm invested. Now I need to make sure this baby panda like reaches its mom okay. And meanwhile, my keepers have been yelling at me about not being able to reach some poop for quite a while now. So I better go find the offending poop and scoop it. Because that is indeed one of our jobs as zookeepers. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, it has managed to reach mom. And the Samachan striped rabbit has also given birth. We might redo the Swatch and Striped Rabbit exhibit today. I'm considering it because, oh my goodness, oh, look, it's one of the little tiny babies. One of the teeny little Swatch and Striped Rabbit babies. So many of you guys know the Swatch and Striped Rabbit, an endangered species of rabbit that there's only like one picture of. So, oh, I hope they can swim. So, there you go. So he's good. He's good. So a lot of people don't even know if the Samachian striped rabbit even still is in like alive, even still exists as a species because the area that they live in has been contested for quite a while. A lot of deforestation, a lot of issues, a lot of um, poaching, not of the rabbits, but of the other creatures around them. And so nobody really knows if they even still still exist. Oh, and the Samachian striped rabbit is going to give birth too. Can we see the little babies born? Let's see if we can climb down here. Is it this one? Hello, are you, are you about to have some babies? You look like a rabbit who's about to have some babies. All right, you're laying down. <gasps> Baby, there we go. Yeah, check that out. Another rare endangered baby born in our zoo, doing absolutely fantastic. And that actually makes me wonder, it has been a little while since I have managed to check what we are doing on our goals. Because as you guys know from the last zoo, once we get to five stars, that's one of the first goals to do. But then my favorite goal, one of my absolute favorite goals to do with the zoo to feel like I've truly, truly completed it, is get the educational donation reward. And it looks like I am a long way away from that. Why? Why aren't people donating? Because, like, they're being educated. Why is this not working? I'm gonna start slapping these down everywhere. There, and now you have to look at another one if you come out of the bathroom over here. Ah, oh well. All right, all right, let's go see what the offending small poop is. Oh, it's over in the smotch and striped rabbit area, that's why. Oh, and the ground dove is now expecting. Oh, that's right, we're working on the aviary. <laughs> There's always so much to do every time we jump back in. I'm always constantly startled, like, wait, what are we doing? What are we doing? All right, well, let's check in on our pregnant tapir. And I see how she's doing. Speckle, how you doing? She's doing very well. It takes a very long time to be a pregnant to peer. Oh, and our Australian green tree frog has died of old age. So we're probably going to need to get some more Australian green tree frogs to replace them pretty soon. So I'll probably get a couple. Do we have any more? Let's check if we have any more. Oh, one of these Samoan striped rabbits has escaped yet again. <sighs> Oh my gosh, it made it all the way over to the orangutans. I was like, wait, where is it? Wow, all the way over to the orangutans. And I'm actually thinking it would be fun to add in another primate pretty soon. Because our zoo is getting pretty busy. I haven't seen anyone try our face painting kiosk yet either. I'm gonna maybe, maybe if it's at a diagonal, people won't do it. Bubbles is going to give birth. Oh, Bubbles! Wow, we have so many elephants! There's so many elephants, like, all the time. Oh, that's right. I was thinking about maybe adding something in over here that could potentially area with them. Maybe a bird of some kind. Maybe do some sort of multi-species exhibit. Maybe an antelope of some kind. Because the Asian uh, elephants will actually create paths through the thick jungles that they live in. And they'll actually end up making paths as they, like, dive through the jungle and walk through the jungle. Oh, we're going to have a baby. Bubbles is going to have a baby. Where's the cute little baby? There's the baby! Oh, look at you, Lloyd! Hi! Hi, Bubby! Welcome! All right, let's watch out, because sometimes... I don't think they're going to do it this time, because everybody is super distracted and busy. Hi, little one! But sometimes, when the babies are born, then the other members of the herd... Oh, here they come! Here they come! 
The other members of the herd will come and they'll come greet the baby, which is just so sweet to me. That is just so precious. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to throw down some treats. A whole bunch of apples for everybody. Apples for everybody. Here's some smelly durians. You guys, that, that, that is a small, like, fortune in fruit that you guys deserve. So I'm going to leave those down there for them to enjoy so that Bubbles can have a good time. Um, oh, a panda is giving birth, and Call of the Second wants to find a mate, our tiger. Jeez Louise. I love it. I love how busy the zoos are. I love how you really have to kind of hoof it to try to keep up with everything that's going on and try to make sure that everybody has a, a mate, everybody is okay, everybody's satisfied with life, um, and still expand all of your exhibits and still keep the guests happy and still complete your challenges, which is one of the things I should probably work on today because we have had some photo challenges for this zoo for a very long time now. So where the heck are my tigers? Also, what the heck is this? You look cool. Oh, it's the Rhea. Okay, there's the Rhea. And here's a common raven. I think we'll have the Quetzal, even though it is not a, like, it's like a jungle. It's not an Asian jungle, but it's, it's definitely a jungle sort of bird. So I think I'll add the Quetzal into the aviary soon. Oh yeah, I'm looking for tigers. <laughs> I got distracted. I was like, why am I here again? All right, there's the ocelot. I've gone not far enough. I probably passed up, unless like the tigers are under a special name. Alright. Uh, there's all the S's. Ground doves. There we go. Bengal Tiger. And we need to get a handsome male. And we're going to add him in so that Kala can have a mate and have some babies. And I think this is Kala's brother, maybe? Climbing on the heated rock. Yep, this is her brother. So we're going to go ahead and adopt him out. And I'm going to name you... Uh, let's name you... Norvik, just because I can. And so then let's see how quickly he and Kala are going to be able to connect. Going into the water. And what's Kala going to think of all this? I love the tiger area. It's very, very pretty. Kala's using the scratching post. <gasps> the ground dove is going to lay an egg. I just want to see if Kala is going to react to the new, the new addition to her area. Normally you would introduce these animals super duper slowly. She's going to go mark scent on the tr sky pole tram. That's amazing. All right, well, let's go watch the egg get laid from our Sumatran striped ground dove. Or not Sumatran striped, <laughs> Sumatran striped dove. <laughs> I meant from the ground dove, not the Sumatran striped ground dove. That is so funny. All right, well, let's run in here. See how many eggs we can find. Hello! Oh, somebody's like snoozing right next to the berries. Did you eat too many berries, little macaw? Did you stuff yourself on berries and now you're snoozing? Well, your friend is stuffing himself on berries too and it's adorable. Alright, are there any eggs being laid? Any eggs being laid, huh? Where are my ground doves? One of my camels has passed away of old age. Here's a ground dove. There's my ibis, which I really love. There's some bird poop. Cleaning that up. Alright, we've had a birth from the pandas. Oh man, it's getting so busy now. I can hardly keep up with like who's giving birth and who's laying eggs. Uh, so much and striped ground up two is going to lay an egg. Oh, there she is, there she is. She's in the process of laying an egg. Okay, I think she just laid the egg. Is she right over here? Okay, so she was right here. I really love trying to find where the eggs are hiding. There she is. So here's the ground of, and that means I do believe her egg is hiding. Can I see it? Can I see it? Oh, she did it good. She did it so good. Good job, little ground dove. You have laid your egg somewhere where I just cannot discover it. Um, Kala is now pregnant, so that took no time at all. Kala has met up with the male, and she's quite happy. All right. Oh, that's because the... <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. So it basically... Oh, there it is. You guys see it? There's the egg! Oh, I saw it for just a second. Let me see if I can show you. Here it is! You see it? Oh, it's so tiny! Look at that little dove egg! I love finding where the eggs are hiding because it's just so exciting. All right, so that's done. All right. All right, Kazuma Island wants to mate, but we'll worry about that in just a second. Um, I need to make sure we have something inside of the exhibit with... Let's see. No, Palm Cockatoo, you're going to have to be lonely because you kill everybody you run into. And these are actually the cranes I need to release. The other ground dove is going... The, those cranes chase the pandas. That's why I have to re-release re them. And the ground dove is going to lay an egg soon. Spotty has just grown from a young to an adult. Yay, so Spotty, the tapir, has grown up. 
Asian Elephant 5 is very uncomfortable. She's having... Oh, come here, honey. She's having a hard time of it. Because she's giving birth. Or doing something. I think she already gave birth or something like that. We definitely need to possibly start releasing some of our Asian Elephants. We've got a bunch of wild horses. The Scarlet Ibis is about to lay an egg, which is very, very exciting. We have our Clouded Leopards. They're doing well. Arowana, Spix Macaw, a whole bunch of our... Our ringed hangs, we've got our pandas. One panda is not doing well. What's going on with you, little buddy? Okay. Can I give you anything? Dang it, I can't really give it any particular kind of food. Alright, we're gonna have to keep an eye on this little panda. I think it's sick. Alright. Well, we're gonna check this out. Alright, can I can I heal you, little one? You're just going around in little circles. You're gonna have to have a little shot. Sorry about that. All right, can I do anything for you? It's a sick baby panda. Okay, let's go ahead and create it. Sometimes if you create them for a second and then release them again, they're like, oh, I know what to do now. Oh, it grew up. <laughs> I think it was just like stuck and it needed to grow up. Okay, well now the red panda is doing better. I'm so glad that was all it needed. All right, let's see what else is going on in here. All right, there we go. Pandas, red pandas, some watching striped rabbits, wonderful, Kazuma Island raccoons, black storks, Gertrude, and Speckle, who is still expecting, Kala, whose pregnancy is zooming along, our cranky shot turtles. Okay, that answers my question. We do not currently have any of the frogs, the green tree frogs, inside of their little exhibit here. So we need to get some new ones. And the reason I needed to make sure that we didn't have any is because they are one of those unfortunate mods that if you put into the game and you have a male and a female and they try to lay eggs, the whole game will crash and that map is corrupted forever. So you only want to put in one gender. So I needed to make sure we didn't have any of the uh, the other gender in here. And there you are, my red-eye tree frogs. I think I had somebody else in here last time, but I'm gonna fill it with uh, male red-eye tree frogs this time. Maybe they'll croak and be awesome. There we go. And hopefully that'll attract all sorts of people. Did I not have anything in here? I just realized I don't think I had anybody in here. Huh. Are there any animals in this exhibit place? I, I just realized, I don't think I saw my girl on the list, and I probably said that horribly wrong. Whoops, wrong wrong section. Where am I going? All right. Hello? I don't know if I have a crocodilian in here or not. I mean, I'm not exactly eager to just like dive into the water and search for you, but I don't think I have anybody in here. Okay, that's a root. This could be very alarming. One second I'm like, oh, that's a root, and the next second it's like, it's got me, it's got me! Oh, look at those cute little water roots. Okay, so I just discovered this is also an empty exhibit. So you know what? I think instead of turning this exhibit back into the like crocodilian exhibit it was, I'm going to remove these feeders and I want to put in some flamingos. I know it seems a little bit, a little bit like a subtle, well, like, yeah, like calm of a thing to add in. Flamingos, really, Siri? Over like a, a giant gnashing crocodilian. That would be much cooler. Yes, I'm not going to argue that. But I have been wanting to have flamingos for a while, so we're going to put flamingos in here. So let's go ahead and find where our flamingos, our beautiful flamingos are hiding. Here we go. Oh, maybe they could have, maybe they could have some little mandarin ducks hanging out with them too. Oh, it'd be kind of the wrong, well, it'd be kind of close to a biome that they might enjoy. All right, flamingos, you guys are pretty darn hardy. You're normally temperate grassland. Um, so I'll remove like a few of these mangrove trees. But really, I feel like flamingos could adjust pretty well over here, you know, personally. I'll remove a few of the pitcher plants, just a couple. But I feel like otherwise, like, I don't think they're going to be that picky. Like, the flamingos that I've always seen in zoos usually just have, like, this square pool and some grass, and that's it. And they don't really have any plants, and I've always thought they looked kind of bored. They're always sleeping on one leg whenever I see flamingos. So let's go ahead. We're going to add... Let's do... Three males, three females. See how quickly that becomes way too many flamingos. All right, so that's the flamingos. They look beautiful. You guys know how they get their pink coloring, correct? I am 90% sure most of you know that answer. And for those of you who don't, don't worry. Not everybody knows. But flamingos get their pink coloring from the shrimp that they eat in very large amounts. So we're going to go ahead, make sure that they have their bird food dish down here. 
And then we're gonna put down little containers full of shrimp for them to eat, which is also why flamingos can be kind of smelly. <laughs> Whenever I've seen them like they are they are a little bit smelly like people will kind of complain about that a little bit They're like wow, they're kind of smelly. Well, yeah, cuz they they eat shrimp Um, I could put a bunch of pretty flowers in here with them actually <gasps> that would be nice You know me and pretty flowers. Oh boy. Oh boy Now I'm kind of wanting to take out the mangrove trees and start putting in some pretty plants But really the mangrove trees are probably the best option for over here but I will put in like a big oak that they can maybe like bask on or bask, not bask is the wrong word. You know, get out of the, get out of the sun. We'll put in a couple oaks so that they can kind of just stay out of the sun that way. What is this? It's a cute little orange tree. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I have to have at least one of those cute little orange trees. And then let's see, there's some pink lilies, red dahlias, red carnations, all sorts of pretty flowers. The June grass is probably more what I would think you'd find over here though, so. And, oh, well, the English grass is very pretty too. Oh boy, here it goes. Here it goes, Siri. You see the pretty plants, you just can't turn away. Oh, come on, the yellow, oh, you have hibiscus. Pansies, come on, you know there's not gonna be pansies here, Siri, come on, get away from them. Okay, put the dahlias down. Maybe these guys, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna treat myself to just a few of these little guys. And maybe a couple more right here. And then maybe like some couscous, nah. Couscous, oh my gosh, I meant like, the, whatever that plant was. All right, uh, some more June grass. All right, and I will let myself just put a little bit of the June grass down and maybe some June grass right here. There we go. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I will actually, for their sake, change the biome a little bit because it does need to be a different type of water. Wink. And there they go! Now they've got like a newly redone little exhibit. So hopefully they'll enjoy it. Suddenly flamingos. <laughs> so that happened. Hello guys! Hello beautifuls! Let me get into the exhibit with you. I hear that squeaky fish toy. Oh look at that! Look at that beautiful orange tree. That makes me happy. Oh look at them. Look at them. Let's give them all some brushing. Make sure they're pretty happy. Make sure we have some keepers assigned to take care of these guys. Hello, pretty flamingos. I bet I could add in some of the other like aquatic species, some ducks or a crane or two, and these guys would be okay with them. Though I don't know how territorial flamingos are because flamingos have always, when I've seen them in captivity, been kept on their own. They've never been with like other, other waterfowl of any kind. So maybe that means flamingos are super sassy and they would like try to peck the eyes out of another waterfowl. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to learn. You guys are beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, ah, oh, laggity lag. That's from the water. Water mechanics, even on a super high-end laptop, or laptop, I'm on a desktop now. Even on a super high-end computer like mine, in Zoo Tycoon 2 can still be a little bit painful to observe. All right, well, these guys are super pretty. I really love them, actually. See, I knew I just wanted flamingos. I knew I just, I just wanted flamingos. I just had a good feeling about them. Oh, look, they're coming down into the water. <gasps> oh, hold still, hold still. It's making me dizzy, zipping around everywhere. Oh, look at you. Look at the pretty flamingos. All right, well, there we go, guys. We've added something in, and I'm actually pretty glad that I checked over and made sure that we had some empty exhibits that needed tending. And there's a zookeeper, so I know that they are being taken care of. Oh, and we have some thirsty elephants and more complaints from the softshell turtle department as usual. And still more to do, but I am thinking pretty soon we will start moving from the zoo that we're currently in to a new zoo. So probably to either the Australian zoo or maybe an Arctic or polar zoo, depending. Oh, the water lag is so bad. It makes me dizzy. It's so bad. Um, so we're gonna get out of here. All right, there you go. There you go. Be happy, flamingos. But yeah, let me know. Uh, pretty soon, we'll probably move. We'll be doing the Dino Zoo as its own series, and we'll probably get ready just to kind of jump to a different zoo, just because we've improved this one so much. If only we could continue to improve it. Where the heck is my little? Okay, let's come over here. I'm gonna come over here. If only they would donate. I want that headset kiosk. It is just brilliant when you can see everybody walking around with little headsets. 
So hopefully I can get that to happen too. And we'll work more on the aviary next time. I want to see the Tapir baby be born. It's going to be awesome. And we still have so many areas to fill in. But we will be checking in on some of the other zones. Because I want to see like platypi babies. I want to see like maybe some more of our aquatic species and smaller zoos. So that we can handle all the water mechanics. All of those things. There, there's going to be more. There's going to be more. Let me know what you would like to see next. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.